Hi everyone, you may have seen some videos about the most Google terms about blah 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 and um, since I'm a mathematics teacher I want to do one about the most Google terms about mathematics. The idea for doing this came from this guy Samurai Guitarist who recently did a video like this answering the most Googled musical questions. Um, you might have seen some of these videos by Wired where they do autocomplete says, suggests the most common searches on the internet and they have a whole lot of celebrities talking about things that are googled about them. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing about mathematics and hopefully this will give you some insights into what math is all about. Okay, first one I'm going to type is math is. Math is fun. Yeah, I believe math is fun. It uh, is enjoyable to solve problems, and it's uh, and uh, you can see success along the way. You get instant feedback doing math, so that's why I think it's fun. It's um, math is fun. It's actually a really popular website. That's why it's kind of there a few times. So uh, it's a little bit cheating, but I think math is fun. Math is cool. I'd agree with that. Math is everywhere. Yeah, um, you can apply math to all sorts of lots of different situations. You having good understanding of math will help you in lots of other areas of knowledge. Uh, being good at math will help you with your history, will help you with your science, will help you with your geography, will help you with your economics, all that sort of thing. So math is everywhere. It comes up all the time. And yeah, being good at math will help you be good at other things. Um, let me just say, however, you don't have to be good at math to be good at other things. Um, and I'll talk more about that later. And realizing it is everywhere and realizing the good questions to ask, even if you don't know how to get the answers, if you can ask the good questions, um, that will help you in those other areas. Um, math is hard. Yeah. But so is history. History is really hard. So is making good art. You know, math is hard. Yeah, well, lots of things are hard. And I don't think math is necessarily harder than anything else. It's just different from the other things. And maybe it's the way we've structured it and maybe the way we've taught it. But lots of things are hard. And, yeah, it's probably not fair to single math out. One reason why a lot of people think it's hard is because it uses a lot of deductive logic and um, not that many other areas of knowledge is deductive all the time. So, And people who can effectively use deductive logic tend to be seen as smart. So maybe there's a slight correlation there, but yeah, that that's something that you can be trained in and get better in. So yeah. Math is hard, but lots of things are hard. Okay, I come from Australia, and I call it maths. So let's try maths is. And maths is fun. And the rest of them don't seem to make much sense, because people don't call it maths like us down under, or in the British-speaking world. Maths is much more sensible. Mathematics. Maths. All right, let's try the whole word. Mathematics. Mathematics. Mathematics is a language. Possibly. That's a huge discussion we could have. Um, it is a way of communicating. It is a, something that has rules that are followed, has syntax and grammar and order like languages do has specific symbols that mean specific things like language does but like I'm not sure it has all the other characteristics of a language well you can talk about computer language too is that a language it's a way of communicating but it doesn't have all the nuance whether you could write a poem in computer code debatable I have seen people write poems in, in mathematical symbols. It's reaching, in my opinion. But I think 
in a lot of ways it's like a language. Whether it is a language, interesting discussion. Mathematics is indispensable. Well, we said before it's everywhere and it's useful. So it kind of goes together. Mathematics is whiteness. That's kind of a big call by um, a professor in a college in, uh, in Illinois. Um, kind of saying that the way we study mathematics perpetuates white privilege. I think it's crazy what she's talking about. But other people I've discussed it with have seen her point. So maybe there's some logic in it. Why don't you explore it? Have a think about it. Mathematics is the language of the universe. This is a really interesting question, and you can talk about it a lot. Yeah, it could be. But then again, mathematics might not actually even be real. So big discussions there. Like we can communicate in a way um, without the confines and constraints of other languages and people who don't speak in the same way can communicate through mathematics, true, and uh, the underlying laws can all be determined or examined through mathematics. So there is something to it, but that's a great discussion. Mathematics is an art. Well, it's more of an art than it is a science, in my opinion. And there is beauty and elegance in mathematics, but there's not so much freedom of expression. So it has, just like language, there's a lot of things similar to a language in mathematics, but there's a lot of things um, also different. Let's try it. Let's try the same question the other way. Is math? Is math a science? I don't think it is, really. I think science is all about inductive logic, making observations and s developing rules and pattern that fits those observations. Where in math, it's more deductive. You have rules that already work. You need to take those rules and apply them to specific situations. So it's quite different from a science. Math is very useful in science, especially stuff like theoretical physics and that. But I don't think there. I don't think math is a science. Is math invented or discovered? That's a huge question. That's a really interesting question, and uh, that's one you should really explore a lot yourself. Um, I think it's a bit of both. There are some really interesting things that started as just thought experiments. I wonder what would happen if, or I wonder if we can solve this somehow, even if it's not real. Imagine numbers is an example of this thing. It was kind of made up, invented to solve problems. Once they would invented these imaginary numbers, they discovered that, you know, it fit with all the other math that math they were doing. And um, then they later on, much later on, discovered uses, uses for it in, uh, in science and other applied fields. So they invented it and then discovered what it was for and discovered that it actually made sense and fit with the rest of math. So it is a little bit of both. And if they hadn't invented it, maybe they would have discovered it or discovered the need to invent it later on. So it's, it's, a, it's quite an interesting discussion to have and something to, to investigate yourself. Let's try some more um, interesting type questions now. How about this one? Why is math why is math so hard? Um, I mentioned before that other things are hard too, so that's part of it, uh, and it's just different. But also, math is cumulative, so you can't just study a little bit in isolation and get really expert on that. You have to get all the background information and really know what's behind everything. So if you've got gaps in your mathematical knowledge, that's what makes it hard. That's what tends to make it hard. Um, also the way we, we tend to teach it, where it's just these random little separate pieces, if we could rather see it as a, as a whole and see the beauty and elegance of it, but also see the applications of it, that would be make it 
more interesting and maybe less hard and less boring. Why is math important? Well, it's important to other subjects, definitely. But it's important to learn because it teaches some skills that other things don't teach us. Uh, it teaches the importance of order and sequence um, and pattern and predicting and estimating all these skills that will help us in the rest of our lives and help us in other subjects too and that we probably don't study uh, skills we don't develop enough in the other subjects how about this studying math is studying math is important because you learn skills and knowledge that you can use in lots of places Studying math is hard because of the gaps in your knowledge and uh, the fact that it's cum cumulative. Is it worth it? Definitely. It can Once you get over those initial hurdles, you can enjoy it and it can be useful in a lot of different areas. Okay, every day I get asked, why do we have to study this? Why do we have to study this makes me happy okay because there's math is down here but there's a whole lot of other stuff why do we have to study history I agree um, even if I type M there's a lot of other things there but yeah math why do we have to study math yeah in most educational systems around the world they make you study math pretty much all the way through. But that's because of these, these skills that it teaches and because of the practical applications that you use it. You will have to deal with numbers, space, patterns, um, things like that every day, which are things you learn about in math. And you will have to have your life ordered and neat and systematic, which are things, skills that math will teach you. So why do we have to study math? Because it's a good idea. In school, yeah, school's a good place to study. All right, since I'm a mathematics teacher, I better see what they say about teachers. Math teachers are... Math teachers aren't mean. They're above average. Math teachers are in demand. Yeah, that's certainly a thing. Um, there are a lot of jobs for math teachers out there um, because there's a lot of jobs for people who can do maths as well and maybe some of the others pay a bit more. So there we go. Okay, I hope this little exploration into autocorrect and the most Google terms was a little bit helpful. And most of all, hope, hopefully it's made you... Uh, Think about some things you want to explore for yourself and uh, good luck doing that.